Hey everybody, want to do a demo. This is my 1979-ish TAC X10R and this is a dual capstan drive bi-directional record. Um, this thing is in, is in very nice shape. It um, has a new capstan and new counter belt. I went ahead and serviced this and went through the through the capstan motor and one of the real motors and found that this thing has extremely light use on it in the past. There is a little bit of wear on the tape head, just barely any wear at all, but there's enough for me to say that there is wear on the tape head. Um, so I went ahead and serviced this whole thing, I lubricated everything, cleaned it through the motors, did all the knobs and switches with the uh, Deoxid D5, and then after a 24-hour dry, I went ahead and used fader lube. Um, so, here we are. Let me do a, uh, before my recording runs out, let me arm it. Alright, the flashing record set means it's ready to go, it's ready to record. But it's solid, it is recording. So what you hear is going onto the tape. Coming off of the tape. I'll do this again here in a minute. Okay, that's going onto the tape. That's now coming off of the tape. Hello, testing. Mic check. Mic check. Left channel. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. One, two. Mic check. Mic channel. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Check. Testing. 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 some sensing foil coming up. Sensing foil on the outside of the tape will reverse this thing whether it's in playback mode or recording. If it is recording like it is now, it's going to stop, reverse direction, and then start recording simultaneously going in the opposite direction to the first part of the tape. There's the sensing foil. Reverse. Continues to record. Disarm it, hit play. This is what we just recorded. Did I do the mic test yet? Maybe I didn't go back far enough. Now, one, two, three. Testing, one, two. Mic, right channel. Testing, one, two, three. Check, testing, testing, testing. Now this thing has a, uh, like I said, it's got a new counter belt also. What is intended for this, when you first load a tape on there, you set this to zeros. And then you set your auto reverse to either a loop, so it keeps going back and forth, or in the middle to where it'll just reverse one time and stop once all the tape is back on the, the first reel, or to not reverse at all. So it, it uh, 
to recap, when you start the tape, it's all set to zeros. And then on the inside here, you have a piece of uh, sensing foil mounted on the outside of the tape. And once it comes across this post, it's about an inch long right here. Once it comes across the post, it senses it and fires it off the other way. Now this will continue to play the entire way until, if I have it set right, when it reaches all zeros, it'll stop, reverse play, change direction, and come and go, uh, you know, and then go forward. All right, so let's do some rewind, some breaks. Some of these early, uh, some of these, excuse me, some of these early um, X versions. I know I had an X7R that that really had some slow reel motors in there. Um, this was a long time ago before I really started taking these things apart and getting into them. Um, but the health of these motors, like I said, they've been hardly used. Um, the whole machine is, is, is really in nice shape. There's no scratches on the front. All the lettering's there. The, um, I'm distracting myself. And the, the wood cabinet is, is uh, got sharp corners and not a scratch on it that I can find. It's, it's really amazing. I think this thing was bought. It was only used for a short period of time. And then put back in this box. Again, I have the original box and the original packing, which is cool too. You don't see that very often. Oops, that kicked thing. Probably gonna get a, a dislike for that. Sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go all the way to the front end of this. Again, so you can see, I want you to see how it uh, how it operates with the brakes and the real strength, the torque, etc. This is where you'll start showing some lag if you have motors that are full of carbon and the commutators are all are all funky and dirty. They uh, this is where they'll get slow. So fast forwarding with the bulk of the tape here, it'll have trouble. Same in the opposite direction, but we'll get there in a minute. So hang in there. It's a good running deck. This is a collector piece here. This was the version before the X1000 and the X2000. The sale of this deck comes with the the, uh, the real hubs, the nab adapters, the, the real, sorry it's been a long day, these guys, and the take up reel, and I will will throw in a, a Maxell um, UD tape, it's a 35-180. That'll all come with it. And the original box, the wooden case. I will pull the feet off and put them in that plastic bag just to keep those things from getting damaged. I'll shut up so you can hear the reels going. Stop it here. And then we're going to start it again. Again, this is where it'll show a lag if there's any serious problems with the real motors. This this deck is very kind to the tape. It's a loose loose wind over here, which is which is good for the tape in the long run. If you get them too tight, they they uh, tend to stretch the tape out, etc. Original TAC take up reel, max cell tape, hubs, everything you see here. This thing's serviced, it's ready to go, everything's working on it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave me an email. Um, and I appreciate your time. Take care.